come around, we have the correct uh, Ruder badge. Ruder is actually the coach builder that built the cars for Porsche. Um, there's several different companies over the years. They changed uh, between coach builders, but this one was built by Ruder. Uh, all, the, all the chrome goodies and polishes you see, such as these rocker moldings, all came from NLA Limited. Uh, although they do come as a really nice restoration part, we still went back and hand polished them all to a higher luster and made them a touch better. Uh, some of the chrome stuff even we even sent back out and had re-chromed uh, to make it just even a little bit nicer. Uh, as you can see on this window here, uh, this is an original piece of glass. Uh, that's the original logo on the glass. Um, very uh, unique to 57 Cabriolet, the cut of the glass. Well, uh, we were missing the driver's window. It had been replaced at one time. So if we go over to the driver's side, You'll see that we had this piece of glass cut and polished to the exact shape, and then we here at Deluxe Customs uh, mimicked the logo exact. Uh, we type it up in the computer, and I have a plotter that cuts it out of uh, vinyl. We lay it on there, and we sandblast through the vinyl. Uh, to the average person, they'll never tell it was ever a reproduction piece of glass. We do all that in-house. As you can see, the edges and everything is just as correct. The correct thickness of glass, color. We make sure that it doesn't look like it was ever replaced. So you see everything works correctly. Um, we have painted, oh, still going. <laughs> so the painted latches and catches which I don't typically like to do on my vehicles. I like them to all be clean and either chromed or zinced, but Porsche did it this way. The latches were painted, uh, and the bottom one here was black from the factory, as you see here. Uh, it is supposed to be scratched. Uh, kills me, but it's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> the motor is all done correct. Correct for the 57 Porsche, the correct carburetors, uh, oil filter, all done in the right colors, right decals. Uh, they are aftermarket through NLA, NLA Limited, but it is what is correct for the vehicle. Even so much as the Bosch logo on the coil being upside down. Believe it or not, that's the way it came. Uh, one another example of uh, the uh, custom stuff we do here, this fuel line coming in was missing off this vehicle. Um, we could not find it, nobody makes it. I did make it from scratch by hand, uh, utilizing a stainless fuel line, uh, bent it to the right shape, and actually found the banjo fittings on a similar uh, a Porsche, but a later Porsche, and transferred them over to these lines. And they are very close to correct to the original banjo fittings that would have been on here, but nobody offers them. So I did my best to uh, make it correct for, um, uh, without it being an exact Porsche part. Everything in here is done in the correct colors, flatnesses, the way you see the flat paint. Um, the wire harness is done correctly. The actual, this wire actually came without the striping on it. I actually hand striped all the yellow stripes that are supposed to be there to make it more correct. Also in the engine, every nut and bolt is correct with Porsche logos on them, what they would have come from the factory. Did restore the exhaust, the muffler was rusty. We put a new panel on it and uh, had it ceramic coated, as close to original as we could get. Uh, the whole motor was cleaned up and, and um, reinstalled uh, above the transmission. Every, every line, every uh, cable, every, every, every bit of everything underneath there is brand new. Uh, everything is exactly how it would have been at the factory. We actually use a original workshop manual to make sure every line is run in the right direction, the right place, the right hardware is used on it, uh, and the right lengths and uh, sizes, everything is correct under there, uh, within reason. We may have some spots that we missed and we're open to find out what they are. But at this point we feel we've done a really uh, good job of figuring all that out. Also things such as like this grill is actually original Porsche. We had it restored by Victor Miles in California um, just because the aftermarket one wasn't to our liking. Uh, here's an example down in, in here, uh, the number, the date, or the correct uh, VIN number stamped into the deck lid. Um, we, we do the process where we don't 
destroy the number. We don't make it go away. We leave it up to the last coat of paint so that it stands out so you can see exactly what number it is and that it is correct to the car. You see that in there? Yes, yeah, 785. Yep, great. And that's also treated the same as in the hood and on the doors. You can, if you pull the door panels off, you'd see the numbers stamped right into the door. Go ahead and put the top down. Actually, the customers prefer the tops always down. <laughs> they commented to the interior guy that now that they now that they've spent the money to restore the top and put a new top on, they probably will never see it up. <laughs> it's a kind of a two-man job. I'll jet over here real quick. The latches like to catch on to themselves. Also, this car had had the wrong uh, rear window sewn into it and had some wrong part, had, had the wrong, uh, had a bigger window, like a 58, had the wrong moldings on it and uh, the wrong headliner in it. So we did our best to correctly put the right size window, headliner and top into it uh, for the customer. Also had a boot made for it uh, so that he um, was more correct to 57. Rear seat is done correct, how it should be. Uh, the way the stitching is, where the lines are, everywhere a line is, goes through is exactly how it would have been from Porsche. Uh, if we didn't have an original seat to go off of, uh, we researched it, Alpha Photos. We were for fortunate enough to have a friend of mine, J uh, Jules Dillon, uh, has a couple original cars, and we were able to get a lot of that stuff uh, from him, the correct measurements and such, uh, off of 57 that he has. Um, headliner uh, is all uh, the finest material you can buy, German cloth. The top is also German uh, canvas, the best money can buy. Best leather money can buy. They really spent a lot of money on the interior, but it's, it shows that uh, uh, it was worth it. They were very pleased. Sun visors are also were NOS. They were found uh, original, never been in a car. Uh, they are not aftermarket, they are original to 57, the correct weave, uh, shape and size, and they are original Porsche. Mirror was also restored by Victor Miles in California. Uh, put new glass in it, polished it, did an excellent job. Real easy guy to work with. All the powder coating was done at Arizona Powder Coat here in Phoenix. Chromium was done by Gold Tech Industries in Tempe. Another thing that uh, people don't realize when you restore these cars, and a lot of the shops don't do it, but when they have the, say you have rust repair here, and you gotta do filler work and build this up, and make new metal here. We also did the same here. We replaced all this metal, it was rusty. And what you gotta realize is that we still had to make sure the doors lined up perfectly straight across and yet keep this line equal all the way up and likewise keep this line equal as far as when you look down here all the way down so you can't have any extra filler come out this way or this way so you have to metal work this car and make sure that these lines are perfect before you start doing any of your body work because you can't have any filler this line has to go to bare metal every single time it also runs Likewise for the bottom of this line. Very tricky, very time consuming. Um, we take a lot of pride in that.